Hey guys, this might look like an ordinary alarm clock, probably one that you've seen in most shops. It's got an iPad detector in the top, but it's not quite what you've seen before, because this one is connected to a Raspberry Pi, which is hidden underneath the dresser through this 3.5 millimeter cable. What it does is pretty incredible compared to the iPod one that just played some music. This goes online, fetches news, and then plays it out for me. So here I'm just going to... Good afternoon, Peter. It's Sunday, August 17th, 1.45 p.m. Weather conditions for today are broken clouds with a current temperature of 25.4 with a low of 24.7 and a high of 25.4. The value of one Bitcoin is 492.52. Facebook is trading at 73.63 and Port of Tauranga Limited is trading at 15.5. And now, the latest stories from the world section of the BBC News. Protesters attack Liberia Ebola unit. An Ebola quarantine center in the Liberian capital Monrovia is attacked by protesters prompting at least 20 patients to leave the unit. Kurdish forces retake Mosul Dam. Kurdish forces in northern Iraq take control of the Mosul Dam previously held by Islamic State. Militant Kurdish officials say, Governor criticizes riot town police. Missouri Governor Jay Nixon criticizes police for releasing CCTV footage which apparently shows shooting victim Michael Brown ceiling from a shop. Tourist boat sinks in Indonesia. An Indonesian boat carrying a group of foreign tourists and local crew sinks in the east of the country with 15 still believed to be missing. That's all for now. Have a nice day. All right, great. So what you just saw there is my new alarm clock pie project. So you can see uh, I was connected on a Mac there via SSH, but all we have is my old alarm clock, which is acting as a speaker. And at the back here, it's attached by 3.5 millimeter cable to the Raspberry Pi underneath my dresser. Here, I'm just gonna go down, give you a quick peek. There you go, there's my Raspberry Pi there, just connected via 3.5 millimeter cable. And you can see there's the power. What you can't see is a Wi-Fi dongle, but that's okay. Uh, I'm sure you can imagine what a Wi-Fi dongle looks like. So let's just talk about a couple of things that you heard there that are new on this project. Now we're getting stock information. The stock information is coming from Yahoo Finance, which is great. Uh, also, I've sped up the voice a little bit, which I'll talk about more later. Um, and now I'm gonna show you how to set it up on a Raspberry Pi. It'll only take a minute or two, and uh, I think you'll be impressed by the results. Okay, so here I have my second Raspberry Pi. This one's just set up with an Ethernet cable, of course, power, and I've put in a little speaker. Uh, for your speaker, you could use anything you want, like my alarm clock, or you could plug it into a stereo, or you could do any number of other things, if you like. So what I'm gonna do now is just jump over to the computer and uh, get everything set up. Okay, so I've logged in via SSH. I'm on my Mac here. I've logged into what I'm calling Stereo Pi, which is uh, just that Raspberry Pi you saw a second ago, and it's been fully updated using uh, sudo apt-get update and sudo apt-get upgrade. So make sure you do that before you follow the next steps. Besides that, we're basically going to follow the exact instructions that you, that you see in the About section. So the first thing to do, uh, because we want this to be an alarm clock, is to make sure that we've correctly got the time so internationalization, we're going to change the uh, time zone. Uh, and I'm in the US, I'm in New York, of course, which is Eastern. OK, great. Uh, I'm done. And now we can move on to the next bit, which is installing the packages required At 22 megs, yes. Uh, 
Okay, so you can see we just did it that quickly. That's RAM FS, which allows us to write to the RAM instead of using the SD card, which would wear out the SD card pretty quickly. So instead, we're going to stick with RAM. And then the next part is just to grab all of the uh, different files that will be used in this project, which are all the different Python bits. Here you go. That was it. So now it should be as simple as sudo python subprocess score 20 dot pi. Sorry, there's no underscore in there. It should be subprocess 20. Just my handy cam turning on. Good afternoon, Peter. It's Sunday, August 17, 308 p.m. Weather conditions for today are broken clouds with a current temperature of 26.0 with a lower of 22.4 and a high of 25.2. The value of one Bitcoin is 400. Great stuff. Facebook is trading at 73.6. And Port of Tower on the Limited is trading at 15.5. And now, the latest stories from the world section of the BBC News. Kurdish forces reaching Mosul Dam. Kurdish forces in northern Iraq are largely in control of the Mosul Dam previously held by Islamic state militants. Kurdish officials say protesters attack Liberia Ebola unit. An Ebola quarantine center in the Liberian capital Monrovia is attacked by protesters prompting it. 20 patients to leave the unit. Governor criticizes riot town police. Missouri Governor Jay Nixon criticizes police for releasing CCTV footage which apparently shows shooting victim Michael Brown ceiling from a shop. Tourist boat sinks in Indonesia. An Indonesian boat carrying a group of foreign tourists and local crew sinks in the east of the country with 15 still believed to be missing. That's all for now. Have a nice day. Okay, great. So that worked perfectly. Uh, there's just one more part to add here, uh, if you would like, which is to add this. Uh, and as you can see, it's incorrect there. Uh, it'll be fixed on your version. Uh, but what you can do here is you can add this line uh, to have it play with your cron tab. And I just want to read it out so that you can understand what it is. Uh, this says cron tab edit add at 33 minutes past 7 on days one to five, which is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then on those days at that time, uh, play the pseudo Python subprocess 20 script. So let's say I wanted the alarm to go off at, at 7.55 instead, well, I would just change that 33 to be uh, 55. Okay, great. Well, I'm not going to set up this cron tab to run on this uh, on this particular pie because I'm intending to do something different with it. In fact, what I'm planning to do is to start setting up uh, some displays and uh, soon enough some rotary encoders. So uh, more on that soon. But I hope you enjoy the project. I hope that uh, you enjoy this and uh, have yourself a fun time with your new Raspberry Pi alarm clock. Uh, or if you're using it for something else, let me know what it is in the comment section below. Of course, you can always check out my other projects for uh, Raspberry Pi uh, and for some other small electronics that I've started playing with. If you'd like to buy me a coffee because you find the video useful, you can do that in the uh, About section below. As always, I'm interested in your projects, the stuff that you guys are coming up with, or the modifications that you've made to this. One thing in particular I want to mention is the way that I've Build this now, it should be possible for you to create your own files for it, your own Python scripts, and hopefully you'll go in there and just start editing and changing things, and then post those in the comment section below as well. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, it's free. See you next time.